fresh crack for uh, for a fresh question. All right, this guy says, "Hey, fellas, longtime listener, uh, serious dynasty question. Fourteen team super flex league. My only quarterback is Trey Lance. My team is sad. Was so sad, I, so I blew it up. Not uh, sad anymore. He's not going to be contending, and likely not the following year. He's got." The one one, the one seven, the one eight, the one eleven, an assortment of twos and threes. So I think he has two twos and three threes, and then four first round picks. The running back room is zero, and he's got a decent wide receiver room: Justin Jefferson, Burks, Pickens, Mooney, Nico, Thornton. And he wants to know if he should trade the one one with that myriad of picks uh, that he has there. So I think this is a pretty interesting question. Oh, this 14 is 14 team, and then the roster requirements are uh, are pretty deep there. This is an awesome, awesome question. And real quick, is, before you get going, it's, yeah, what you got? It's quarterback, running back, running back, three wide receiver, tight end, and then three flexes with a super flex. So, so it's 14 man deep, deep, pretty deep starting requirements here. 14 man deep starting lineup, the three wide receivers plus three flexes, and then a super flex. Yeah. So yes, very deep lineup and very deep league, 14 league, 14 team league. So what he said also was he did hit on that. He said the players are stretched out. The teams are thin. Definitely hard, uh, hard-ish hard to make trades in this scenario, um, in this type of league. It's it's fun because you really, when you get a, I don't know how big the bench is necessarily, uh, but when you get in a team, when you get in something that big, it's uh, – you're it, the only thing you can do is rookie draft and trades. You know, free agency basically doesn't even exist because you got probably you know so many people. I assume with a huge bench like that and fourteen man, uh, or if you're a huge starting lineup and fourteen teams, um, there's there can't ten be. man bench. Okay, ten man bench tightens it up. If, I mean, shoot, you don't even have some leagues, some teams you might not with a couple of injuries and a couple of bye weeks, you might not be at a field. Ten man bench is not nearly as big as I thought you were going to say. He's got Shakir on the. Uh, taxi squad Jalen Warren on the taxi squad um, and then Burks on the taxi squad yeah he listed Burks as his one yeah. of his big time players so I, th- I think this is this is to me a, a good spot to trade the one one um, I don't think you have a choice yeah you, you you I mean obviously you always have a choice but if, when you have 14 teams and a huge starting lineup and your team is bad like this is you have to make you got this you, you're making moves he said his team was sad not is sad was sad the reason this was sad is because now he got four first round picks and i think multiple next year yeah, um, he's already got two first next year including his own right you know and and i the part where he said you know you were trying to clean it up for radio but he said i got a bad quarterback my rb room is zero it says by design mm-hmm. you know because he you didn't get those four first rounders for nothing, so he might have had a you no know, point in having them right now. Right, no point in having them right now. Might have had a couple of good running backs, but now he's got the one. He's got the one, the seven, the eight, and the eleven, and twos and threes. Um, I think you you don't have to trade Bijan now. You don't have to trade him before the draft. No, nobody, but, nobody, ta- nobody's saying that. That should be that's a good qualification or clear up. Nobody. I don't, you don't need to trade Bijan right now with whatever you're doing. He's it'll the value's fine. You don't have to do anything mm-hmm. right now mm-hmm. in that scenario with yeah. Bijan with the one one. It's safe. It's going to be fine. It could even gain value in, in the off season. Well, in the but it's going to gain value in season, especially about two weeks before trade deadline, mm-hmm. because not all, most people trade deadline and they're trading for running backs. They're not you. you yeah, this year you might have been able to finagle a, a walker out of somebody here or there but you, most of the time you're trading for older running backs at the trade deadline because not even nobody wants to give up a good young one yeah you true. know you might have been able to get a jonathan taylor off of somebody but to get the jonathan taylor off of them you might have had to give them to Brees hall to make the trade you know if you get two or three weeks out from your trade deadline or what if you got no trade deadline you get you two weeks out of the playoffs or whatever you're coming in coming in hot and there's a team what I'm looking for is either a team that wants to pay through the nose for Bijan to not only get a chance to have a hot running back to take them through the playoffs, but all of a sudden you also you're getting Bijan. So you're not mortgaging the future for this year's championship. You're trying to chase the championship and get Bijan. But I'm also looking to try to not miss a scenario where I can give him to the worst team in the league. And that may be you, but you've already you got your first rounder. So if you're the worst team in the league, you got the one one next year ish close, and anything can happen. But it, you know, you're probably going to be in that one 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 two one three category, um, 
and you want to go looking for somebody else's. Now, obviously, you're not giving away Bijan for somebody's first round pick next year, but in a 14 man league, especially with the big lineup, you got to be getting some. You got to get a player back with. You can't just be getting picks. Picks are great, but you got to get a player back. Like I know it's a completely different situation, but the Garrett Wilson trade back to one two here. If you could pull off something similar to that. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's not necessarily it's, trade Bijan for a, you could still trade back in the you can trade back in the draft and not just trade completely out of the pick and just get a bunch of players. I think there's you know multiple options here. You don't have to you can trade like you said if you can go back to one two and get a player. That's what I'm that's saying. Awesome. You don't you ha- s- what I'm saying is like you don't have to just get out of the one one and just get a, a bunch of players and like a future pick. You can you can try to go backwards. Yeah, I mean yeah so. Yeah, your trade when you the trading the one one could include trades, you know, draft picks this year. If you didn't get any in that trade for this year, you got plenty, so it's not a huge deal. You just what you're getting back needs to still be a haul. Being 14 man in the draft and the and the rosters are all spread out, it's going to be harder to get that quote unquote haul. But maybe somewhere somebody's got to have a, a position of strength. You know, somebody's got to have one. Now, did he, is this tight end premium? He didn't um, say. I don't think so. You know, so you, you know, when you're trading away the one one, or you trade, maybe you take Bijan and you trade him three picks later. Maybe you trade him in the draft and you've already tra- I mean, you couldn't get anything while you're on the clock. Don't feel, don't feel pressured. I don't know what your pick clock set at, you know, but if you got a four hour, five hour, eight hour, ten hour timer, or maybe it's a home league and you know the guys are putting the six Z's in a row on you <laughs> on the text message thread. Like if you got to do something, just take Bijan. You can circle back, you know. Yeah. Um. You can. You always find a trade partner for Bijan, but, but one of the biggest things that sticks out to me, other than trying to maximize your Bijan value, and of course, like Casey said, you could. The the most fun part to do would be try to trade back from the one one to as as close to that pick as you can get and get the best player that you can get along the way. That'd be the most fun because that way it keeps you in the front of the draft. Um. But otherwise, just try to get the worst team's first round pick next year and a fun player or two or seven. Um, but also you, what do you get? We got seven, eight, nine or something like that. What I'm really seven, eight, oh, 10 and 11, maybe. Right. Yeah. Seven, eight, 11. So I'm really seven's going to be more than fine when you throw in. Seven's going to be great. That's what me. I know. I know. But I'm saying like, if you can get, I'm trying to go, I'm trying to go to eight and leapfrog. I'm trying to go eight and leapfrog into like five or six. Cause that way you can get up in there and you get your JS in. Um, if you, for some reason, if a quarterback, you just, maybe, maybe if you, something crazy happens and those three quarterbacks don't go one, two, you know, two, three, four behind Bijan, what, what have you, you know, I'm trying to leapfrog. Cause you got the assortment of twos and threes. Um, do what you got to do to try to jump higher in that draft this year with that eight, if you could, is what I would be looking at. Trying to get into that top two. You got four first round picks. There's a 14 man league. Who knows however many teams have multiples. I would be looking in that eight and 11 spot if I didn't really love what was going on. You got to get players. You, your team, your, your starting lineup is so deep. You got to get, if you really want to compete. And he said, and there's, I love what he said. I'm probably not going to be good next year either. So mentally you're checked out on trying to win, mm-hmm. but at some point you do, you're, you need to assemble yourself into winning. So I would be looking at trying to trade back from the one eight, how far if, or trade up from the one eight, if I could, and, or, you know, how far do I got to trade back the one eleven sound like the one eleven is not even the pick before the end of the dr- first round, you, you know, 14 teams is just a game changer, mm-hmm. you know? So if you're, if you strike out on trading up from the one eight to the one four five six area to get back in and you know get in a higher tier of players, I think I think you got to get into the quarterback tier for, for if you're going to trade up for me. I agree. I think you think, but it you might not be eight, able. You try to take eight and eleven and get up in, into the into the top four. I somehow. couldn't. I couldn't agree more. And I was and I kind of almost started to say that. But you, if you can go eight to five, you might you. It might be a lot easier to go to five to four. The guy from yeah. four might not want to go to eight. You know, so you might have to. Or might they're, have to, they're all right at quarterback, and they're they want the more they want more players because because so it's deep. so hard to get right. it, exactly. But so you need to kind of test these waters, and you don't have to test them with sending out fantastic trade offers right away. You can talk to these players, take talk to your team members, and it, say, "Hey, this is what I'm looking at." 
in this scenario, you kind of get to have your cake and eat it too. We were kind of talking about how you don't get to have, in the last trade, you don't get to have fun in the draft. You're still going to have fun in the draft, getting off the one one or trading back a couple of times on the one one, or you know you can completely get out of there, get some picks next year and, and a good player or whatever. I think you need to start trying to figure out how to rebuild this quarterback room moving forward, and then take it from there. And then you you do you have that whole back half to try to maybe move back up and grab. You could get out of the draft completely out of the one one, get a one next year and a bunch of other players and whatever, get a little deeper and then somehow get back up into the one four, one three area and get a quarterback and kind of have the best of both worlds and then still have shots to be able to take throughout the rest of the draft. And like you were starting to say at one point is take then another one of those first and try to you got to try back to trade get back, to the 20, you know. get to 24, get a 24 first for one of those picks plus a little more. Right. So you got to wrap your mind around when you're trading back from one eight, it doesn't stop at one twelve and go to two one. You still, you go all the way back to one fourteen before you hit two one. So how far, if you can't move one eight up, how far back from one eight do you have to go to get a first round pick from somebody next year? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, one eight is going to be a, you know, a really, really good player. But if you can get a, a first and, you know, that, what is it, you know, through the 14, maybe. Well, what if you're at 113? What yeah. if you go from 130? Maybe that's too far. Maybe that's not far enough, but you never know. Maybe somebody's like, hey, that's. Somebody wants Will Levis. That, exactly. You know, the last you know? quarterback on here. Or and whatever. of course, of course, you start with your 111 and you try to back that up before you back up 18. You know, let's not put the cart for the horse here again. <laughs> sure. You know, you just, hey, I'm, I got 111. Do I need to go to, uh, you know, 211? Do I need to fall that far to get a first round next year? Is that too far? Because you got the four, you got two extra picks there. Um, but you know, with Will Levis, so you got the five. You know, you got the four. You got four quarterbacks, a couple of running backs. It's that one eleven is right there in that tier break that we talked about before. Um, and you know, again, without knowing if it's tight end premium, those there could be. You know, your Darnell Washington could be in there easily. Well, the Michael Meyer, Meyer. yeah. You get um, tight ends in the mix. I mean, especially look, fourteen teams. You got some. You definitely have some player teams that are like, how I, how can I get a tight end point? Here? Hendon Hooker's gonna be a second round pick, if not a late first round pick. So in that league right there, he's like, and shit, any league, I think he's gonna sneak up to the one eleven, one twelve. If he's anywhere in that area of getting drafted high second end of the first, so somebody can get that fifth year uh, extension on him. Like, yeah. hey, where what's the difference if we trade up to the end of to to, to 29 or we we pick at two three or whatever right now we get we get a quarterback an extra, for an extra we got an extra year definitely definitely so i think his stock's going to move up whether you like hooker or not like you know the chances of him hitting being drafted in the first round you know is much greater i like that um expect being a 14 man league it's gonna be it's so it's gonna be that much harder there's four more quarterbacks that people want to have in their lineup every week right and we already can't find enough quarterbacks to start every week comfortably in a 12 man super flex so, you know, yeah, Trey Lance gets traded in that draft. See ya. He's off that 14 man roster. for You got to you got to get something for Trey Lance ASAP before he starts week one. Yeah, it I mean, could do. Trey Lance could be so good, but your team like you, you're you're completely rebuilding and you have to get rid of that chance. He's terrible mm-hmm. because if he once he you know, I agree if he goes to the Titans Stock up if he's not playing for the well, Niners. Just, just in general, stock up if he gets a traded for a first round somebody pick or paid whatever. Because somebody him. paid for him and now right. there's... You reset the draft capital. You're, not nearly what he right. had to begin with. Which might but, be best case scenario for him to just reset as well. Like, hey, yeah. this has been a term... You know. I know, man, but I'm not saying leaving Shanahan is best case scenario for I'm him. Ju- I'm just saying to clear the slate and go over and, and the Tennessee Titans would be a, a good... I think that's a great place for, for Trey Lance. It's not big. It's not a big spotlight. True. They're, they're not scared to do shit differently over there. They right. don't give a fuck what, what a everybody coach. else is doing or saying. Good. They're going to go do what they need to do Good point. and play how they want to play. He wouldn't have and any Lance weapons. could make them. He's got Burks and Chig. And okay. they could Chig. bring. You could easily. You could get a fucking receiver core <laughs> in a fucking year. That's the Jags. Right. Um, I like. There, there's no chance that that wasn't the next thing coming out of my mouth. You got to get value on Trey Lance. Um he, he could hit and he could be cr- incredible for your team. But with a team like this in the middle of a huge rebuild, a blow it up, studs out rebuild, you know, you got Lowe's delivering shit every day for a while, you know, <laughs> yeah. like you, you, the, the floor potential for Lance has got to leave your team. Yeah. You lose the ceiling, but the ceiling has already come down a little bit because Purdy 
You know, there's the pressure involved now. There was pressure from the draft capital put on Lance, and now you got to play. If he was, I don't know how he really succeeds in San Fran now because right. not only the pressure, it didn't work out. He got hurt, came back, yada yada yada. Now you got it's a just, guy. You can't even a, look it's up. It's a situation where it's just always you're looking back, looking yeah. behind you. You know, yeah, you can't do anything right because Purdy can do it right. Right. Now. He came in and fucking won every game until yeah. he got hurt. Yeah. Like, it's just good luck. Sorry, man. That's I know. Stinks. Terrible luck. That's Terrible right. luck. Right. All right. So, the are we going to? Can we got a few more minutes on this guy? Because he's got. If you ton. want a couple more minutes? You can take them. I was going to move to the next one, but if you got something, go for it. Well, you know, we talked about the trade. If if the trading from the one one is a whole, that's a that's a dynamic in itself. Mm-hmm. The eight, the eleven, this what is it? Seven eight eight nine eleven seven eight eleven seven eight eleven. That's, you know, that's where you talk, you know, if you were to trade the one, one outright for a two players, if somebody like, Hey man, you can have this guy and this guy and it's, and it blows you away and you'll take it, uh, you know, all right, whatever you lost that you didn't trade back in this year's draft, whatever that's you traded B John, you got to, you got to haul for it. It's done the seven, eight, 11. That, that's just a whole nother go. You know, right. that's, that's just so much more fun to get going again. You're, you basically, you're, you picture those blots, you know, those blocks out for the for the drafts, for the draft picks. You you're playing the piano at this point. You know? <laughs> yeah. You're like, what where my seven, eight, are they going up? Are they going back? Am I eleven? Is it coming up? Is it going back? Just have as much fun as possible. Get yeah. get you know, just ring that rag, get as much fun out of it as you can, enjoy the hell out of the process. And your team's not sad anymore because it's fun. And we didn't really read as players. Did we Unnecessary. Did you read this? Like he's got a couple. He's got Justin Jefferson. He's got some decent wide receivers. So you know, I mean, it it may not be the end of the world to say, can you turn Justin Jefferson into? Well, you know that you that, know that may be something that three, he, two, uh, uh, an, an awesome player, a really, really, really great player, and a really, really good player. You know, you you can have your super stud, your Justin Jefferson. But if you don't have the next four players in your lineup to compliment him, he's not, you know. So just keep everything on the table right now and and obviously bring the information to us as it happened, you know. Like, yeah. hey man, I I made this trade now where I'm at. Yeah. I made this trade or I got these. Bring us through bring us the next three options. All right, just talk to your league mates, find out find out what uh, what your p- chances are of moving up. Uh, from the seven and the eight and then figure out what you might be to do moving back from seven and eight and and, and hit us back we'll, we'll we'll reconvene let's go i can't wait to help uh re- reload this man's team hit us up that's why you got to uh like subscribe Patreon. comment below all that jazz uh don't know why the button's not working but i tried to hit it maybe i used it up chase is not gonna like that used it up all right <clears throat> let's move to the last question <laughs> 